Hello everyone. Myself, I am Charanya, working as an assistant professor in MLR Institute of Technology in the department of AML. Today, we are going to discuss about the topic of S or MIME process. Coming to the overview of this topic, let me know what is meant by MIME, how it is going to be work and what are those advantages and what are the services of MIME. So, coming to the first slide of the topic, we should know what is meant by S or MIME. S or MIME is nothing but a secure and also the multi-purpose internet email extension process. So, MSME stands for the secure or multi-purpose internet mail extensions. So, by this through encryption and also SIME offers main for business emails. So, basically it protects for the business emails and also it is a protocol used for encryption process and also the decryption process. So, this means the user can digitally sign their emails as the whole owners of the email means nothing but a sender of the email. So, where which communication is going to launch? The Bell communication was launched the MIME protocol in the year of 1991. So, basically this was introduced to increase the email restricted functionality. So, main purpose of uh, MIME is going to increase the email functionality. Then SIME is also upgrade of MIME that is nothing but a multi-purpose internet mail extension. To these limitations of MIME, the after all completion of this lay, launches of Bell, it was mainly S or MIME came into an important role. Means nothing but we need the security also. Like that, we have named it as S or MIME, means securing purpose. So, SIME is also is based upon asymmetric cryptography. Asymmetric cryptography, which means that the communications can either be encrypted or decrypted. Like, like namely public and private keys means two keys. Two keys is nothing but a public and private. These are the two keys which we are using in the MIME that is multipurpose which we are using the public and private keys for the communication. Then how it is going to be work in the multipurpose internet. So, it enables non-ASCII format of data using secure mail transfer protocol. So, via they are going to email that is the SIME. So, moreover uh, they are having uh, data files such as uh, including music or uh, image files or any videos or uh, the type of data files are sent to including music, video and also the image files that is the working process of S or MIME. So, basically it enables non-ASCII data and it also contains the music video and also the image files content. So, this data is encrypted by using a public key and also decrypted by using a private key which is only present with the receiver of the email only. So, after this whole completion process, the receiver can decrypt the message and the message should be used. After the decrypt of the receiver only, the message should be used. So, in this way, the data is shared for only the emails. So, it, sh it shares only the emails only and it uh, end to end security services also using the cryptography method. Like that, the S or MIME should be work and it also should be secure purpose. Then, what are those advantages? It offers verification process. Basically, of all sending this some music or video or image files, the basic advantage is it offers verification purpose. So, of all this completion, it verifies uh, how it is getting the correct or not, it will check. And it also integrity of the message. So, basically it offers integrity of the message also. Integrity will be happening to the such kind of messages. Means, data should not be modified. data should not be modified or deleted. Then 
that is integrity of the message and it also facilitates non repetition of the origin and it also it offers solution selection is nothing but an having a such kind of information so these are the four types and also the fifth type is data security is also provided by the utilization of main encryption this is the fifth type and it also having the advantage of transferring of data files data files is nothing but we have seen in the previous uh, slide of audio or uh, any videos like images or uh, any files or document in a secure manner that is the srm main the main purpose is only secure that is known as how it advantages the next one is services of si mme so this sr mime mainly used to secure email communication process so basically it provides the encryption process and also the authentication and digital signatures so these are the real life application process and it also contains the corporate email security so basically in this corporate email security it basically protects uh, sensitive business communications and also in this uh, sensitive communications it basically ensures the confidentiality and also the authenticity purposes and the government agencies also it serves means the communication of classified information and it validates legal documents so while they are performing the legal documents and also the classified information process undergoes under the government agencies only this is also one type of services in mime and also the legal sector so basically in uh, legal sector uh, the documents is going to be exchanged and also provides some type of authenticity process so basically the signatures and also the legal document exchanges will happen in the legal sector the next one is cross border communication so cross border communication is nothing but which is happen international business wide and also the government communication international business and also the government communication that is the services of sr mime the next one is personal email security so personal uh, email security means uh, each uh, each person should get an each and every message individually that is the personal email security so see here individuals will use only mime to secure the personal communication and also the privacy of the data so how they are going to private their data the next one is cyber security so cyber security is nothing but we are uh, secure our information from unauthorized users and also happen such type of attacks phishing attacks or malware and also the some types of malicious piece of software so this are all happens in the cyber security so basically it prevents the phishing and also the emails spoofing so the, like this kind of uh, content of the emails will happens in the cyber security that is the main purpose so there are uh, corporate email security is one type of services and also the government agencies and also the legal sectors will happen in the document changes and cross border communications and also the individual email security and the cyber security these are the services of mime of securing process so mainly the name as secure so in today's session we have discussed with the topic of security and mr ma so in the next session we will discuss ip security architecture process thank you